depths of his kitchen, one man found himself standing before a tray of scorching hot nachos. With the formidable power of SolidWorks flow simulation, he embarked on an odyssey of cheese and chips determined to unearth the secrets of nacho cooldown. Hey folks, Sean Mars with Hawkridge Systems here, and I have another quick tip for SolidWorks flow simulation. I have a transient study here, and I'm looking at an isosurfaces plot that's showing me surfaces of constant temperature. And I really want to be able to play these with my transient explorer. So I have 10 seconds of data here, and I want to be able to hit this play button and just watch it play through. Especially, it'd be great if it actually played through in real time. But you can see it's super slow. Even if I go ahead and pause this and I try to scrub through, you can see I'm going to get really bad playthrough here. And I'm even lucky that it's not crashing on me just doing this. So what can I do to make this better? Well, if any of you have tried to use the Transient Explorer with the ISO services, you probably haven't had a ton of luck, especially if your mesh is decently refined. But what you can do is go ahead and choose to create an animation. The reason why an animation is great is because we can record out an AVI video here, and then it only has to load all the result information that one time, instead of every single time I'm scrubbing through this little playlist. To use this, you're going to want to use the wizard tool. So I'm going to hit the wizard, make sure I have the correct time for everything I want, delete all existing tracks, skip through that rotating the model, and I'm going to choose scenario because I have transient explorer information. I can just go ahead and save finish on this last one. And the weird thing that you need to do with this is you need to go to the ISO services plot and right click in the timeline to insert a control point. Then you want to drag this one that's going around with your mouse to the final point here and you're pretty much ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame this up the way I want to have the video come out and then go ahead and hit the record button. There's also some save settings in here if you need to change the frame rate or anything like that, but the default settings are generally fine. I'm going to hit record and it's going to start working its way. Remember, it's going to be slow now and then fast later when I replay it over and over again. Crud, I want to move this. <laughs> Make sure you move that. Let's call this one ISO. And go. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna go over to this open folder button and let's take a look. Pretty cool. All right, this is everything I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching, folks.